right, guys. Episode, um, episode six, I believe. And last episode, we went in here and defeated the robot. And now all we need to do now is catch this freaking rat. Now it's a real pain in the rear. You actually just have to keep tapping your A button and... Oh, he talks to you. I'll tell you everything. Squeak. Press and hold the L, L and R buttons. And then press the A button to access the secret passage. Squeak. Don't make any mistakes or you'll be sorry. Well, okay then. So, apparently, we'll be sorry if we make a mistake. Hmm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save. <laughs> and I'm going to make the mistake. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm done saving. And let's try... Let's just press the button. Without doing it properly. Okay. L, R. Um, well, okay, it looks like, it looks like you can't even make a mistake, so saving was pointless. Okay, L-R-A. Got it. Um, hmm. Apparently, it's not working. Okay, uh, give, give me some time to tweak this. I don't understand. Maybe, uh, yeah, just give me a moment. Okay, so I finally managed to do it. I had to set my keys to the exact same button, which was idiotic, personally, if you ask me. <sighs> so, yeah, it is L-R-A right here. So, let's continue on. Now, um, here is just a bunch of mobs, um, whether or not you want to fight them is completely up to you, and let's... Okay, so now that, that fight's over, um, I'm just gonna get all the chests, and just basically just to show you guys what kind of items we have here. So the first chest that I got had a mid ether, and we're gonna try and skip the mob fights here, because they are generally boring, and my strength, I don't need to do any leveling up of any kind at the moment, so there's really no point. I believe in here, there should be, well, as you can see, there's more Proto 2 robots, so if you want, go ahead, ignore them, or, or ignore it, and just go off and try and find another switch here. There should be another switch where you have to input LR, um, LR and A again, so just keep an eye out, and or follow my path. There it is. Uh, <laughs> went the wrong way. Oopsie daisies. Okay. Um, if you remember the fights of the robots here are generally they're generally easy because you're fighting them one on most well mostly one on one otherwise yeah otherwise they they would be a little bit harder and you have another door here but obviously you still can you still don't have what you need to open it so yeah don't even bother okay easily avoided and let's go into the next room bam there we go okay here we go and Let's begin our dialogue session. So this is the info center. Good. The computer is still operational. If we run a search on time warps, we might find our gates. Here. Got it. Ooh, futuristic. So cool. East of Eris Dome. So that's Lab 32, that abandoned ruin building up there. And... Here is lab, no, um, protodome, that's it. That would be protodome, I believe. Leave it to Luca. I'm beginning to think you could find anything with this device. See, what is this button? Oh, boy. Of course. <laughs> oh, fool. 1999 AD. Ah, cool. Never mind. Smart girl. Okay, 1999 AD. Visual rec record of the day of Lavos. Ooh, well, it looked all bright and sunshiny. Whoa, that is frightening. Oh, obviously that is a very bad, bad uh, creature thingy. Holy shit. Pretty much just destroyed the entire continent of Labov, or entire continent of Guardia. What is that? Labos? Is that what's destroying our world? We must truly be in the future. No, no way! I refuse to believe it. This. This can't be the way the world ends. So it's about. 900 years, 999 years into the future of um, present time, Kronos. Kronos is present time. There's only one thing we can do. We must change history, just like Kronos did when he saved me. Okay, Luca? Okay, Krono? 
Well, that would completely create a crazy paradox. I guess so. It was a stroke of luck that we were sent here through that gate. Chrono, let's go. Okay. I'm always down to change, to change the past and create a crazy paradox that makes absolutely no sense. Chrono, Luca, together we can do this. Let's take a second and do some more research on Lavos, Lavos' activities back in our time period. Next stop, Protodome. Okay, so that's done. Now, um, unfortunately, uh, I kind of wish we had the key to unlock that door to the right. Uh, that way we can just open up everything. But unfortunately we don't, so um, instead of watching, watching me go back all the way back to the beginning here, I'm just going to do a quick cut and we'll go back to the people. Okay, so here we are back here. You're back! Yeah, I just said that. Duh. Well, they look kind of depressed and happy all at the same time. Well, what did you discover? This is our future. What? Yeah, you sound like a psychopath. Who cares? Where's the food? See, now he's more practical. This is all we could get. Seeds? You don't know how long the Enertron will hold out. Those seeds might be your only hope. You have to stay alive, and so do we. Huh? You're strange. You're different from us. I think it's because we're healthy. Healthy? Got a nice ring to it. We'll try growing the seeds. What are those? They just might be our future. Heading for Protodome? Go by the way of Laboratory 32 and take this with you. Got one bike key. It's the key to the jet bike in Lab 32. I used to ride it when I was young. Hope it still works. They've got more powerful robots over there. Take care and stay healthy. Okay, so when he was a young boy, that must have been when um, Lavos attacked. So maybe this is like 70 years after 1999, somewhere around there. I could push them? Oh, brilliant. Okay, so looks like they got a pretty much the same thing. They say the exact same thing. So I'll do a little quick rest. Quick rest. <laughs> And, um, let's see how much gold I have. 7,688. Uh, I believe she has items here. Yeah, it's my stuff, so. To quick, uh, tonic, 11, 3, and 14. Uh, I'll buy a bit more of this. Oh, cool. Looks like, yeah, might as well max it out. Okay, um, now, just make sure you save. Like I'm doing right now. <laughs> My three save files. Woo! <laughs> okay. So yeah, make sure you save before you head out into lab 32. And there's also a place that I want to take you guys into. It's, it it will be um next episode, of course, because I haven't run out of time. But I'm gonna. But what I'm trying to do here is is make a video on each on each area, which I suggest, which I told you guys I would do earlier. But if it's too long, I will I would split it up. But yeah, if I have. Uh, if it's short, then I'm still going to create it as an episode. Okay, so there. Okay, so this is 400. Oh, it was 400 years ago. Um, no, 301 years later. Wow, it sucks. Okay, so anyways, um, while Marl sits there and Luca sits on her face, Luca sit on her face. No, a little bit more. There you go. Okay, so um, we finished Eris Dome. Next next episode, we're gonna hit the sewer access here. And then next episode, we're going to take lab 30. We're going to go through lab 32. And there's a fun little um, mini game that we are going to go through in there. And I'll also include a protodome in episode 7. So look forward to that. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And even Chrono's waving bye to you guys. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. And come back next time to see how to beat sewer access. And episode after that, lab 32 and protodome. See you guys later.